Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're getting an error that says Windows cannot find a driver for your network adapter. So if you're having a hardware issue in this sense, I am going to hopefully go over a couple methods on how to resolve the problem. So the first thing I would suggest would be to try and update the network adapter driver. So in order to do that, you just would open up the start menu, just left click on the start button one time, type in device manager. Best match should come back with device manager. Just left click on that one time. Now you want to go ahead and expand the network adapter section. So either double click on network adapters or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand it. Now whatever is the main network adapter under here, so it should be pretty obvious from all the other ones here, but you might have to go through several if you have multiple ones here. It doesn't really matter. We're not really doing anything harmful. It shouldn't really matter and it's pretty simple if you have to do it for a couple of them. But you just want to go ahead and right click on the network adapter you believe is your own and left click on update driver because sometimes there will be some generic network adapters listed in here so just keep that in mind. How do you want to search for the drivers? I would suggest searching automatically for updated driver software. Now if you're having a problem with accessing the internet and maybe you're using a different device to access the internet like a hotspot or something along those lines you might be able to go ahead and if we went back browse your computer for the software so if you had a computer that works you could download the driver software onto that from the manufacturer's website and then just go manually install the driver software through here you'd also be able to go through and if you select to browse my computer for driver software and then select to let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer you could actually go ahead and look for stuff so you show compatible hardware you see the one right here if I left click on next it should automatically begin trying to see if there's any driver software that we can install so just want to show that method Another thing we can try if we close out of here and we open up the start menu again, type in troubleshooting or troubleshoot. Best match should say troubleshoot, left click on that one time. And now you want to go and left click on where it says internet connections, find and fix problems of connecting to the internet or to websites, and then left click on run the troubleshooter. So you want to scroll down this page until you get to the network adapter setting. So find and fix problems with wireless and other network adapters. So left click on that. So hopefully be able to identify the problem at that point as well. Now I do have other videos on my channel specifically if you're having problems with your internet connection. This is really about the network adapter here. So if you're unable to connect to the internet, I have really videos designed more so for that. This video is more about your actual network adapter. So I just want to kind of distinguish it to a bit. You can also try running a system restore as well. There's another thing we can try here too. So if we close out of here. If you're having internet issues, we can go ahead and try and run a couple commands through the command line window. So if we open up the start menu, just type in command prompt. Best match should come back with command prompt right above desktop app. Right click on it and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now you want to go ahead into this command prompt window and type in IP config. So again, IP config, C O N F I G, on one word, and then do a space forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS should all be one word. And then hit enter. So it should say successfully flush a DNS resolver cache. Would suggest restarting your computer as well this time and hopefully that has resolved your issue. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.